Hey everyone, happy Saturday and welcome to the vlog. So, today I am sorting my life out. I don't know if you can see the state of the room behind me. <laughs> it's not good. But I, I don't know why I felt the need to vlog this. But I just feel like weekend vlogs are so chill. And, I mean, this will be going up Sunday tomorrow. So maybe you can just, you know, sit and chill and go about your day with this one in the background. But, yeah, I have had the craziest week like I've been to London working and then I got home and I had so much to do yesterday afternoon that my space is just a state. Like it's actually stressing me out. And there's just certain things in this room that I'm just so petrified I'm going to misplace because look at the state of it. So I need to sort it out. I also got a parcel through this morning that I want to unbox with you. I'm also wearing my cute little Pangaea uh, green outfit which I love. It's like June but it's cloudy today in London and in Surrey it appears to be really bright and sunny here not so much but that's okay all right so I've got coffee in my Corsica mug because I made this about half an hour ago and then I realized I hadn't even brushed my teeth and I don't know about you but I can't drink my coffee or eat any food until I've brushed my teeth even if it means I'm then going to brush my teeth afterwards to like leave the house but anyway I put it in the mug because it keeps it warm and I didn't want to do that thing where I make a coffee and then it goes cold and then I have to heat it up and then it doesn't taste good but I accidentally dropped this mug I don't know if you can see look you see the chip I dropped it a couple days ago on my driveway and it's really annoyed me because now every time I pick it up I can feel the scratchy bit and I hate it but anyway the best thing ever so oh, I don't even know where to start to be honest I feel like maybe I should start with putting my like equipment away because that's like big and then it gets out of the way I don't know why I'm so I don't even have nails I've never had nails <laughs> okay I feel like this gives you a better overview of the room <laughs> I'm actually I'm low-key embarrassed but also it's not like dirty it's just stuff i feel like when i get into the tidying i'll enjoy it but it's the first like i don't know you know the bit where it's like looking worse before it gets better that's the bit that i can't get on board with but what i think i'm gonna do is stick a youtube video on the background and tidy oh my gosh and then if any of you watching are sticking this youtube video on in the background to tidy please let me know because we've created this like simulation thing also i'm going to not put music over this part of the video well for a bit of it anyway we'll see how it sounds because shan xo if you watch her she's a youtuber from new zealand she always by the way her vlogs are unreal if you love vloggers uh very like she's very like normal she's not do you know what i mean it's just like very normal day-to-day -day vlogs homey vlogs that's the right word so yeah she always makes her salads and her smoothies and does this like really like asmr fast forward sounding clip and it is just the most satisfying thing so i want to try it so yeah let's go So look what I got in the other day. So I made a Ray-Ban order because they were 30% off, I think. For students, they still are. I'll link down below because it's on the specific Ray-Ban website. There's like a section where you have to customise them. But like, you, you don't. Do you know what I mean? To get the deal. But what do you think? I had these previously and they actually got knocked off me on the tube and some man stood on them. Which obviously wasn't his fault, but... It was very annoying. So yeah, I uh, took the plunge and repurchased those and I also got my round ones because they're still in LA and obviously I'm not in LA. So I, yeah, it's been, been well over a year and I was like, do you know what? I really miss them. So I got some more. Okay, I haven't even taken a sip of the coffee yet, but I'm going to. So I just want to say, Thank you so much to those of you that DM me on Prime Day being like, Emily, your pods that you love on Prime because I actually ordered them. If you don't follow me on Instagram, I actually did order a couple of boxes and I think when like normally priced, they're like £26, but then you know how like Amazon try and do things cheaper? I think then they're 21 but on Prime Day they're like £18, which works out so much cheaper than actually going to Starbucks. Obviously, like you have to make it yourself and you have to pay for the milk and everything, but still. Thank you so much, or I absolutely would not have seen that. So yeah, I'm very happy. Also, please ignore my voice. I slept in today because on Saturdays, I allow myself to sleep in because obviously, you know, we're up in the week. And for me personally to get like optimal efficiency, 
I, you know, give myself a day. So I slept in till like 10 a.m. And sound like, <laughs> I sound like I've been asleep for like a year. But I'm actually gonna put a YouTube video on now. Uh, I don't know who I'm gonna watch. Maybe a vlogger, who knows? But let's see if this is a good one. It's hot, but yeah, it's really good. <laughs> Look what Sophie's just bought me. They've just been to Starbucks and got me a sweet flat white. So I'm going to leave the one in my Corsicle cup till later because it will stay warm. So yes, I have my cute little soy flat white. I still haven't gone and got one of the strawberry side refreshers. You just have to have the Starbucks app to get that unless you have to wait. I think it's till the 1st of July. So not long, but apparently it just tastes like squash and doesn't actually taste like the American ones. So... I don't know, I'm not, I'm going in there with a positive attitude. I think it'll be fine. <laughs> okay, we're getting there. I'm watching Alicia's video called Trying to Get My Life Together. And I was like, how appropriate, because same. So my desk is looking 10 times better. I mean, I keep a, <laughs> I keep polishing a duster up here at all times because it's a glass desk. So like pretty much every day, or if I'm here, obviously I'm not, if I'm not here, I won't, but pretty much every day when I use it, I just give it a wipe down, but Something tragic did happen this morning. My metal water bottle, which is actually a cool school bottle, fell onto my laptop and it was covered in water and I haven't even looked at it yet to see if it's okay because I was just scared. I dried it off and I was like, we'll do it later. So let's open it up. Now it's not the water bit I'm scared about. It's more like the impact of it falling on. Basically this was on my floor in my room. My bottle was on my bedside table. I went to pick it up to take it downstairs and it just, somehow ended up on the floor and I just could really do without the, having to buy a new laptop I mean I'm sure you feel me and it'll be even more annoying because it's my fault so yeah okay let's open mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. um is that just okay that's just on the screen I mean it looks fine I think that's just water that I need to get rid of I did wipe the inside i don't know why it's there okay i think for now it's okay uh but this is definitely one of those things that you know may show itself over time it's just one of those so frustrating things like how did it fall out of my hands onto the floor and out of anywhere on the floor it could land it lands on my laptop of course it does i actually had i've been mean, having a nightmare with my car not as in like a nightmare but like things keep happening and i'm obviously doing a lot of miles at the moment because i'm traveling for work going to london all things like that uh and i said in my last vlog that i had a little thing so my car got sent off i got a courtesy car there was some drama with that and then i was driving back from london yesterday and a massive rock hit my windscreen and smashed it not even like a little chip like a full-on like full-on crack uh yeah I was in my car, I literally shouted. I was like, for goodness sake. So I stopped and I called my dad and he was like, well, that's number three. And so he was like, so, you know, you're done now. Nothing else is gonna happen. And do you know what? That made me feel so much better. That's all I needed. Sometimes you just need someone to tell you that everything's gonna be okay. <laughs> so I was very grateful for that. But yeah, uh, it might be, well, um, I said before, it's probably time for a new car, but now I'm like, this car's cursed, <laughs> which is so pathetic of me, but also it's really annoying when things keep happening and it's always in the car. I'm really multitasking right now. So I'm like, I stopped cleaning and then I was just editing for a bit and now I'm back at it, but it's my designer hits and misses video that's going up tonight. So last night, if you're watching this and yeah, I just had to add like a little bit in because I said in the video like four times, I might sell some bits, I might. And then since I filmed the video, I decided I actually am gonna sell some bits, which I feel a bit, a bit like, ooh, ah. Uh, but I've mean, been meaning to do it for so long, but it's just so risky. Like I've seen people sell things on eBay and like the person gets it and then they message eBay and they're like, this is inauthentic. And then eBay are like, okay, send it back. So I send it back, like, they put the tracking number in, they they release the money for the refund and then the seller gets like an empty box back or like a stone back or something like a rock in the box. So I've been petrified, but there's this boutique like consignment store that I've seen quite a few people sell through and a few people that I know and they said their experience was really good. So yeah, I'm selling through that. I will link down below where I'm selling the bits in this vlog if you'd like. I mean, I think they're going up later in the week. I don't really have any say over that. I just, <laughs> it's nothing to do with me. So I will link it and then yeah, I mean, I'll probably put it on my Insta story when they go up as well because I know quite a few people are interested. But there's some very cool pieces and I don't know why I'm 
lunging like that but yeah it's going good i actually need to make some more progress now i don't know if it looks like it on camera but we're definitely getting there but i have things like this these are all my summer dresses that i haven't gotten out yet because can we commit no have you seen the weather today so i don't quite know what to do with them like do they go back up in the wardrobe what do i do do you know what I mean? What have you done? Have you got your summer stuff out yet or do you not even put it away? I mean, I do because otherwise I just feel like it clutters up my wardrobe even if my wardrobe's half empty during the winter. So I'm a bit stuck to be honest. Maybe I just put it in the wardrobe for now. I don't know. I've just found this L'Oreal product that I didn't even know existed. It's the L'Oreal Unbelievable Longwear Top Coat. Now it says it lasts for up to 30 hours and it's waterproof but I don't really know what it's supposed to be. Like, is it supposed to be like a brow set like the Benefit 24 hour brow set or is it supposed to be like, you know, like the Anastasia, it just dripped on me, okay. But it's like watery. Brush is quite nice. Is it gonna set my, that's so, it smells like hairspray. It's literally liquid hairspray. I guess then it just sets my brows down. I'm telling you, that's Elnet. This is a mini bottle of Elnet. <laughs> you just spoolie out. Oh, it's now on my jumper. That's the most interesting thing. I also can't believe I didn't know that existed because you know me. I am so up there with my L'Oreal products. But yeah, I mean, it's, they're set. They don't look crispy or anything. Do you know what? I actually quite like that. It's not what I was expecting. It's literally, well, I, I can't say it's literally hairspray in a bottle because maybe it's not, but that's what it feels like. And so I've just been downstairs. Mm, this is my parcel. So I'm doing a job with them on TikTok. So I picked some bits out. Now I am a massive Abercrombie fan, have been for years. Their cozy collection is like the best thing ever. I spoke about this like, not last Christmas, the Christmas before, but I got a bunch of summery things. So firstly, I got this pair of shorts, which I feel like very grease looking at them now. Can we talk about the green list? Oh my goodness. Who's going away then? Because I still feel a bit weird about it, but I'm seeing so many people book holidays to Ibiza and things like that. And I'm like, oh my gosh. Yeah, I don't know. I think I feel a bit weird because I have like work commitments I need to do abroad. So I feel like I can't go on holiday <laughs> until I tick them off. I don't know. I need to talk to someone about this because it's a weird mental thing. But anyway, I got this pair of shorts, which these are super thick. All of their things are really good quality. So Abercrombie, if you didn't know, they actually come in like obviously a range of sizes, but they also come in tall and petite. So for example, there's one dress. So this one here, which is stunning. I love the collar on this. So it's like a kind of greeny color and then it's got the cool collar that's very in, but I got this in like an extra small but T, which is tall, which is X, XXS T. So you can get it in like XXS P as well, the T, which is awesome. So I got these shorts, which feel super thick. I obviously got this dress, which I just thought would be amazing for summer with a pair of like white trainers, which by the way, I actually cleaned all of my trainers the other week. I put it on my Insta story, cause obviously I haven't been vlogging, but I spent an afternoon and I just scrubbed them all. I put my vans in the washing machine and I feel so put together now because all of my shoes are so bright and white again. I also got this dress which I thought was quite different. I mean, I'm manifesting a holiday with this one. I thought that was quite nice. I'm interested to see how that looks on. And then I got, oh, this is stunning, this linen dress. I actually went into store at the Westfield Shepherd's Bush location and just went for a nosy around before I ordered some bits because I like to see things. I know that's weird. I know, you know, online shopping, it's like kind of online, but I was in the area. So I was like, oh, let's go and have a nosy. So yeah, this linen dress, it's got pockets. It feels super thick at the bottom and then it's stretchy on the back, which makes it so comfortable. So yeah, I got that. And then I got some leggings. Now I'm not looking at these. I'm not too sure how I feel about these, but they're blue, quite like a periwinkle kind of blue, uh, like, legging like workout legging they do really awesome workout stuff and i got a bralette to go with it but they're kind of shiny do you know what i mean i'm not too sure how i feel about that so i'm gonna try them on and then we'll see but yeah that's the one thing i'm like hmm, not sure about that but the bralette i love it's got adjustable straps at the back and the little hardware is gold which is such a nice touch because gold's such you know so in right now over 
silver but yeah their bralettes are amazing uh, that's another thing i'd highly recommend from abercrombie and gilly hicks and hollister as a whole like their bralettes are so good and then finally i got this dress here which is so nice this was like the most expensive piece i'm pretty sure that i picked out and i just love the ruffles around the center this is something that i can see myself wearing over and over again it's got adjustable straps and it's just, I feel like this is going to be super flattering. And again, I don't know if I got this in tall. Yes, XXS. Yes, I got this one in tall. It's just so handy. So I'm heading out with my dad and my sister now. We need to go to Moulton, which is near Northampton, to the showroom thing for my dad. And I said I'll go with them because Sophie doesn't really want to go. She could stay here, but we're being kind daughters. So we're going to go and do that. And then... I need to come back and finish editing my video for tonight which i'm very excited about that one it's very different for me but it's the type of content that i love to watch so it's quite nice to make something like that every once in a while i'm not turning my youtube channel into like a you know designer bags designer shoes channel because it wouldn't last for very long because compared to most people my collection's not very big like i watch these australian ladies they're ladies they're not like young girls but their collection is just endless and like every two weeks it's like Hermes unboxing or like Louis Vuitton unboxing and I'm like how how like how I would love to know how <laughs> okay so I'm only showing you one thing that I'm trying on or it defeats the point of me even making a TikTok but what do you think I love this definitely so glad I went for the tall option because it's like a really appropriate length and I love the colors yeah really really like this I feel really good in it and I feel like I say this with everything I buy now but I would pair my white sandals with this and do a little heel moment and maybe my little white Chanel bag and it's absolutely stunning the sun came out I'm so happy about it so I've just finished like everything for tonight's video which i'm very excited about i can't wait for that to go up so i can sit and chat to everyone it's a really really good video i like always feel a bit weird about talking about designer stuff and then i'm like wait why do i like it's just a you know it's a weird thing but obviously it's something that i've really enjoyed for like a long time i got my first bag when i was like 15 so yeah i'm really happy that i got to sit and talk about it in the video and i'm excited for the people that want to watch it to watch it so this is how the room is looking. I mean, it's it's a lot better. It's not uh, perfect. I need to hang the Abercrombie items up so they're not creased. Yeah, just have a general tidy up and then I need to go and unpack the suitcase in my bedroom because I conveniently forgot about that this morning. <laughs> also, I didn't end up going out with my dad. Well, actually, that's a lie. I got in the car, got around the corner, realised I forgot my mask, and then I was like, I'm just going to walk home. <laughs> so I just walked home and I've carried on doing what I needed to do. So I got these in my, um, like, PO box a couple of weeks ago. Oh, I've eaten all the almond ones. They are protein, like truffles i think they're called yeah protein truffles now it's not like mad amounts of protein like there's still, still like you know essentially like this one chocolate and peanut butter but the protein is four grams so it's like better than just like a normal truffle uh but it's not like you know your whole protein intake but they are so good my favorite one's the almond one i also really like the hazelnut one oh, oh i think i finished the hazelnut one as well so there's now I have left peanut butter, coconut, cashew, and dark chocolate truffle. And I finished the hazelnut and the almond butter. The almond butter ones are the best. I just love almond butter in general. Like I went into the cupboard the other day to put some peanut butter on my porridge. And I realized I only had almond butter and I didn't even know it was in there. And I was like, wow, it's a great day. So it is 10 p.m. I've just put the hair mask on i've done the garnier hair food one i this time i've done it a bit differently so i haven't well i didn't do it on my roots but i've wetted wetted i've wet the ends of my hair and i'm trying it on wet hair because with like olaplex they tell you to do it on wet hair i've never tried olaplex i actually have a mask to try from them so let me know if you'd like me to do that in a vlog but yeah i thought well if that's how olaplex works then maybe i should try this one on wet hair because it's like a similar concept wow i have it on my nose <laughs> that's a problem um but yeah i hope you've enjoyed this vlog i feel like i've half sorted my life out i feel like i sorted it out and then started doing stuff again and now it's uh, kind of messed up but <laughs> i guess that's the way uh but yeah thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed and i will see you in the next one bye